Okay. So even though this is part two, it's hopefully I'll be able to stitch both these videos together because in my attempt to unpause the video, I <laughs> I stopped the recording. Hey, I can manage doing some very complex installations. Right, apparently, right. I cannot okay. manage a yeah. stop button. Okay. All right. All right. Ahmed and I were in a, a very heavy monopoly battle yesterday, and I completely destroyed him. You know, no, just, no, you didn't. just completely no, you destroyed didn't. him. He was so upset. He was so upset because it was me versus him, his sister, and his mom, and they three teamed up, and they still couldn't take me down in monopoly. It was, it was hey, terrible. It was, it was a massacre. It was a massacre. Was they were like helping massacre. each other. And they were like, it was not a massacre. You know, it was a massacre. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Anyways, back to this. So we basically began uh, doing this installation. Now, the you know, this VMware popped up. It seems to be fine. I'm going to go through the installation process according to what we have to do. So we're going to select English uh, and then disk go into the utility. disk utility because what we want to do is we want to oops we have to click continue we have to install with our uh, erase yes, yes, yes. but we have to select out so this is the actual so this right here is the actual physical disk so this is the iso right there and then this right here is the virtual hard drive which is the 64 gb one that we selected so we do an erase on this boom and we choose do we choose mac os see i'm not too familiar with the I guess we want to call it Mac OS, right? What is it, what is it normally called? Is it a Macintosh? What is, I think they call it Macintosh OS. Technically, like yeah. that's what I think I saw on the Mac Mini. It's Macintosh OS. Yeah. And I think, is that most, correct? That's yeah. the most common. And I think that's they use AP, APFS, right? I don't know why we're not doing APFS. Why should we not do APFS? I'm going to do APFS because why not? And I'm going to see if this works because that would work. Uh, so it's going to do something. And it's going to create an APFS volume. Uh, and that should be the way to do it, hopefully. So if I click on Done, it's there. So then that's good. So the hard drive is done. And then I have to go back. So I close this off. And if I do Install Mac OS, now this might be problematic. I think doesn't. So this was an issue I was having with the Mac Mini when I was trying to reinstall Mojave. It was needing a connection to the internet for the registration service. And I'm wondering if it's because of anti-theft reasons, because they want to make sure that every time somebody does a Mac OS Mojave installation, like it's a valid product. And obviously with the Mac Mini, it was a valid product. I mean, we bought it, I used it, we sold it. But now with this, I mean, technically it's not a valid product because we're running this uh, as is. So we'll see, we'll see. If it works, wonderful. That would be awesome. Oh, we choose this. Sorry. It's not very intuitive sometimes, right? Like, what are we doing? Oh, it, it ran. There you go. It's running. It's actually doing it. Right. So voila. It's actually installing this. And it's going to take about three <coughs> minutes to do this. So we're not going to, we're not going to, again, I'm going to attempt this whole pause, unpause thing, because I don't want you guys to do this. But I'm going to pause the video and let that happen. And we'll see you in about three minutes. Yeah. All right. Emma is busy uh, feeding his fish. He wanted me to... Wait, Dad. Wait, wait. Hold on. Let's go. You clean your fish. Oh, I got a new fish. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. What, what game is this? You wouldn't want to know. No, just tell us, because we, we would all like to know what game this is. <laughs> Which one is it? It's that old game that I used to play when I was like five and I got into it What's again. What's the name of the game? Fish Live. Nice. Samud so was a big Fish Live guy back in kindergarten. And now he's a big fish live guy. He actually showed no, me. It's, it's, no, no, this is his, his exact conversation with me a few days ago. He's like, Dad, listen. And I'm like, he's going to be very serious about something. He shows me, sits me down, and he's like, and he shows me the five, four, four tanks you have on me? Three tanks. tanks. Three tanks. And I'm like, this is it. And he shows me the three tanks, and he shows me the one tank that his entertainment tank is, and one tank that he's. Got it was not own, entertainment. Or like the one that has the one awesome fish in it. No, the exotic. And the one, fish. Yeah, and the one that has. Uh, like the money making fishes? Is that the one that you Oh, yeah. Want? Experience. So he's like, I'm set, Dad. I'm good. I don't need college. Don't need anything. We're good. We're, we're good with this. You know, so it seems like that's the way to do it. All right. So back, back to this. Uh, we're, we're, we're going into this. We're almost there. And that's my wife, Frank. Okay. 
So now joining us is my daughter Alicia, so my son Emma, daughter Alicia, now there are three of us. So we were having an interesting conversation. I was like, we're going to do this. Maybe we'll talk about technology. Or maybe we'll do something else. Most probably technology. Because yeah, most likely. It's my computer, so, you know, whatever. Okay. So we were like, what What should we call ourselves? No, last name is Masketeers. So Alicia is like, we should call ourselves the three Masketeers. And then Emma had a really interesting story about that. All right, and so, yeah, there's, there's this girl in my class. This is what I deal with every day, guys. Yeah, so there's this girl in my class who keeps on constantly tying me and in a very high-pitched voice. You know what? Your last name sounds a lot like the name Musketeer. There. Uh, so whole voice changes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, all right. Seriously, getting back to this is riveting as that was. Uh, very cool. So we went through. We did so far the installation steps for um, you know uh, getting the Mac OS installed. So we we formatted the disk as APFS and then. Uh, so you, you guys know what APFS stands for? It's Apple File System. Just I don't know if you guys knew. So there are different file systems. So depending on what kind so, of. I just have a question. When you when the, you were actually setting it up on the VM, why why did you, why did you select APFS and not the other one that they were telling you? I think APFS is the newer one. I haven't done a lot of research on the difference between the the journal Mac OS FS versus the APFS, but I will eventually. Because I think uh, I'm just following what was on the Mac Mini, and I assume the Mac Mini has the latest one. But that's a great question. I think maybe we can just do a little APFS versus Mac OS. I guess extended. There you are. Maybe we made the wrong choice. We should have done some research before this. So there you are. This is the question, right? So difference between Mac OS uh, and APFS, APFS and, and this. And I think so. What so it's, it's the APFS stands for the Apple, Apple file system. system. Mac OS extension or it's the HFS plus. And this is the best bet for solid state and flash drive. So this seems like that would have been the better choice because the underlying hardware right there is a solid state, right? So this is best for mechanical drives, and which is the case because the, the Mac Mini actually had a mechanical hard drive in there. Uh, so that running APFS was kind of strange because maybe that wasn't the best choice. Maybe that was the reason the Mac Mini was so slow. But that might have been just the case because I had previously had, well, I haven't, I hadn't been, you know, I hadn't updated the Mac Mini and it was on really old OS. And then I made the update because I was going to sell it. So I, don't know. I didn't. I didn't. I chose APFS. Maybe I should have chosen the Mac OS Extended. Um, so that's good. So we're we're actually using the, the right thing, and uh, that might be the way to go. Okay. So we're. I think we made the right choice. We have the right amount of essentials. Now this is just more of the setup of of Mac OS. So we want to go to the United States because that's where we are. And we want to choose the US this, continue with data and privacy. I don't want to do any kind of a transfer. We're going to set this up as a brand new computer. Now, I am going to actually uh, I'm going to use my, show you my work. Now I'm going to set this up as a personal one. So I'm going to do this. And maybe you can set this up later too. But yeah, let's set this up later because I'd much rather do this later and just have my machine, okay, so again, terms, agree on this, just yes, agree. So we're gonna call this my machine, right? So, uh, it's kind of scary that you chose an eight ball, or eight ball. <laughs> oh, I just realized that. There must be Deep some high-end artificial intelligence here. That's a setup. Uh, yeah? You okay. Why? Well, I don't know. My name? Yeah. Uh -huh. Or email. Yeah. Email me, people. I'm, I'm happy to accept email from weird people. No, not weird. <laughs> Anybody who needs help uh, doing this. So there you are. Look at this. This is pretty fantastic. It's, it's We're running cool. the latest version of Mac OS. Um, that's incredible. That's cool. So this is great. Um, it's it's not that slow at all. It's not slow at all. It has Siri in there. It has Safari installed. Came up pretty fast. Going to Google. Coming up super fast. 
And let's see uh, if you were to do fast.com. Let's see how fast the internet is. You know this? That's perfectly usable. I think that's oh. wonderfully usable. Oh, oh. Yeah, I mean, our, that's, that's our pretty weird. max is 400, right? So this thing is connected via, so we're using Google Wi-Fi throughout the house, which has been a fantastic experience. Um, we, we just had a standard router before, but the mesh networking that Google Wi-Fi offers has been really useful. We have a, a pretty decent size home, a 2,000 square foot home. But for that, I mean, having three three nodes on there, having one down here, and the, these these are all connected upstairs via another node, it's been great. So I think, I think I've been happy. And this is wonderful. So the next thing we want to do is, according to what's on SysNet Tech is to do the installation of the uh, uh, VMware tools, which is important because what's going to do, what's going to happen is with the VMware tools, it's going to make it a little faster because we're going to have native connectivity for some of these things. So the way they're having us do this is come down here and can we select out another disk? So we're going to go in here. So as you can tell, I don't know if you saw what I did, but basically I came back. So this is this is this is this is the this is the actual uh, output from the display. So we're gonna just close this. Doesn't mean we'll close the VM down. The VM's still running, but this is the VM configuration screen right here. And you can select a disk. So you can come in here, and in my ISOs I had that Darwin ISO, so I'm gonna select that. So I'm going to select that. Mm -hmm. So fail to attach disk image. This operation cannot proceed because your Mac OS guest is using the CVDV. Oh, maybe I need to go inside and eject it. Oh, that's the reason. So let's do that. So let's go back here. Let's close this off. And if I click on this and if I click eject this, it's going to release that. So it's going to unmount that. And then once that's done, we'll dismiss this. Let's try this one more time. Select the disk image. Go into ISO. Select Darwin. Boom. That worked. Excellent. So which means that now Darwin has been selected. Hopefully we'll see it. Yeah, there you are. So VMware Tools is now popping up here, which is exactly what we want. And the best way to go about doing this is simple. Just double click on this. So we're going to double click on this. And it's going to pop stuff up. Excellent. Look at how nice this is. Continue. Just, yeah, go ahead. Use whatever you need to. Continue with the installation. Uh, and install software, configuring everything, registering the updated components. All right. It doesn't feel like less than a minute. All right, almost there. So VMware tools, so just to give you an explanation of what VMware tools is, it's sort of like a, a oh, system extension plot. OK. Wait, I don't see that error popping up. Oh, it just says OK. All right. Oh, we had to open the security preferences and allow it. Oh, we should have, see, this is why you need to read instructions. We need to read instructions. Yes. So let's let's not do that. Okay. Let's start a restart. Let's see. So we would need to. Oh. Okay. So let's see if we can try. Okay. We'll do a restart. And we'll try this one more time. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm gonna let this restart. But the thing that happened was VMware needed to install, and in order for it to install, it needed access uh in security to do so and it just wasn't allowed that and instead of me doing the right thing and following the instructions that sysnet tech solutions has i just said okay and i don't know if that will cause an issue so what i'm going to do is i'm going to redo this not the whole thing but i'm just going to redo the vmware install and hopefully we can pick that up so we're rebooting our vm our osx vm and then we'll try that one more time yeah all right you guys should talk more I feel like I'm, I'm the only one talking. Are you guys excited about this? It's pretty cool. Is this the most exciting thing I've done? <coughs> oh, yes. Oh, I'm just kidding. Thanks, guys. It's still pretty cool, though. Yeah. All right, yeah, let me make this happen again. <coughs> so, all right. So, one more time. Double click. Oh, there you are. It came up. Oh, Wonderful. Cool. So, there you are. That's exactly what we want to do. And we want to allow. So, this is what we want to do. 
And we click to make this happen. Yes, we say. <coughs> so unlock. And voila. Oh, so I picked up the new thing. So boom. And we're done. So, voila, excellent. And we go into. So now we have VMware tools installed. We can eject this too because I don't like keeping anything on here that we don't need. I'm going to select. Oh, I wouldn't need to select anything. But voila. So now this is great. We have actually installed everything. Uh, this is wonderful. Uh, if we were to make this full screen, I think oh, it you will. The time. Can I change the display? Oh yeah, I need to change. I wonder how. To, so I am. I'm not sure how do we change the display, but maybe it's in system preferences. We change the display. Uh, and we should be able to change. Okay, let's see. I think we're good. I think this is it. So we're good. So the next step for me is going to be basically just configure this a little bit. But this is essentially what I had before. It might be a little faster than what I had before. And I'm going to test this out. But, you know, that's it. That's how you do it. You guys have any questions, comments? This is cool. You guys no, want this? I think this was the only question. Uh, the only question I had was about the, uh, the, the, the Apple uh, so files. Were... Yeah. And yeah, I, I think that was the only question I had. Yeah, um, this is pretty cool. So some of the some of the things available on here are now available to you. So GarageBand that's, was one of the things. That's really cool. Actually, it's cool. So it'll be nice. Um, uh, yeah. Wonderful. Cool. Thanks, guys. Thank you for joining us. No problem.